Hey guys, and welcome back to Chris Aquariums. This week, we're having a look at my freshwater goldfish tank, which is home to my two pearl scale goldfish and a couple of golden apple snails. Now, I had a bit of a problem recently when the filter that I got with the tank broke down. I wasn't surprised because it was an old filter, but I replaced it with a small hang on back filter that I had spare at the time. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough to cope with the bio load, and along with the prolonged lighting, the tank ended up getting some black beard hair algae. While it is not bad for the fish or the water, it is just a bit unsightly. This kind of algae is not that easy to remove by hand, and the best way to remove it is through a process called a bleach dip. I went in to take the java fern plants out of the tank. With the gravel substrate it was easy to do, and I could see that the rhizomes, or roots, had grown attached to the gravel. I then set up a jug with some water, and prepared a measurement of bleach in a ratio of 1 to 20, 5%. I mixed up the solution and dipped the leaves of the java fern into the bleach dip, being careful to dip only the leaves and not the roots. As a personal preference, I left the leaves in the solution for about 30 seconds. Depending on the toughness of the plants, you can leave it in for up to a minute, and java fern is pretty tough. After the dip, I was sure to wash off the plant thoroughly, as you don't want any of the bleach to get back into the tank. And that was it. There was still some debris in the water after moving the plant, but as you can see from this footage, the algae had turned blood red. Now I have heard the reason for this is that the bleach kills the chlorophyll in the algae, and the light spectrum, which refracts through the algae fibers, shows it is red. You can now see this a bit more clearly from the footage I took once the water had settled down a bit. And from here the algae will die and slowly fall off and the plants will also be picked at by the fish and the snails. Now take a look at what the tank looked just a week later. Most of the algae has died and fallen off and the tank looks a lot better than it did a week before. Since the algae, I've also added a new larger filter and those two golden apple snails that you saw earlier to hopefully prevent any algae forming in the future. Right, so if you liked this video, subscribe to the channel to see more of this tank and of my tropical tank as well. And I'll see you in the next video.